you, you have just released your new album, the infamous Mob Deep, and the second CD uh, contains the unreleased uh, songs uh, from the infamous '95. And how do you, how did you feel c uh, coming back to the songs after uh, 20 years and listening to to them leftovers? How do you like it in 2014? I was excited, you know what I mean, when I heard it, man. We was me and but me and have we was listening to it like, wow, this is crazy. It's like a time capsule, you know what I'm saying? Word, it was still dope to this day. It's ill that we was making that type of music back then, you know what I mean? Well, look, like I still remember that time right now, and you know, I really, I'm really feeling that. And uh, after so so many years in the game and uh, so many classic records, like what's your favorite Mob Deep record? Because a lot of people, uh, when they talk about it, they brought uh, Infamous, Hell on Earth, but like uh, Murder Music, for example, was uh, your most successful record. Um, I don't know, one of my favorites that I always go back to is like Free Agents. You know what I mean? It's like, that's a sleeper. People don't really talk about it too much. And I always go back and listen to that all the time. And uh, what about you, Havoc? Um, I would say the same thing. Free Agent is like one of my favorite albums. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have no restrictions, no constraints. And um, we was able to do what we wanted to do. And uh, it's like uh, everybody... Uh says that the um, real start of Mob Deep was then famous. It was the first biggest uh, CD that you released. But how important was Juvenile Hell for the success of Infamous and success of Mob Deep? Because it uh, went more underground, but Infamous was second album. It was definitely an important album for us because that album taught us something. You know, we was learning when we were making the album. We were learning how to make beats. We were mastering the craft of writing and you know just mastering our sound so that album was like very important for us it's because like the training came before the infamous yeah exactly you know what i'm saying it 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 was like school for us like all right we did that we got to fucking triple what we did on that now you know what i'm saying we, or the work ethic and and the amount of effort that we put into the lyrics and the beats we got to quadruple that now you know what i'm saying so we needed that album to teach us That album was definitely important because it definitely it it taught us like it's, it, you know it put our back against the wall, you know what I mean, and we had to make a dope album after that. Uh, Mardi is one of the the biggest group in uh, hip hop history. Uh, is it hard to, to to keep the the integrity of, of the group like uh, your? Uh, you record so many songs, uh, so many albums, 20 years in the game. Uh, is it hard to, to be still kind on the same page when it comes to, to beats, to lyrics, to song concepts and so on? Um, what's unique about me and Hav is that, you know, Hav could be in his crib working on a song or music. I could be in my crib. I might not speak to him for a few days. We're working on music at the same time. We come back and play shit for each other, and it's in the same vein. Like, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, our style don't change. We stick to our guns. You know what I'm saying? We talk about how we grew up and the shit that we experience in life, and and our beats is just, if it match us. Have make them dog beats that match our lifestyle and the shit that we talk about, and you know what I'm saying? I like the, the, our life, how we grew up. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, that ain't never going nowhere. Like, that's. No matter, you could put us in tuxedo, give us a billion dollars, you could put us wherever, you can't change what's in our brain and our soul, you can't change what's in our heart, you know what I mean? Yeah, G we wish it for a magician group. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Okay. I'm, I'm, for all y'all that don't know, like we got the same exact watch. It's crazy. And uh, today there are a lot of uh, different uh, trends and new sounds in hip hop, but I feel like uh, it's also the renaissance of the classic New York vibe. The whole Biscos movement, artists like uh, Joey Badass and Pereira, 
like uh, Dylan Cooper, like uh, Flatbush Zombies. You know, I got Joey Badass on my album too. Uh, yeah. It reminds me of uh, of and the on, on what you call it? of the years that uh, uh, when you started. Bronx, that, um, what's the dude for, that Chris Lighty was managing back in the days? Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, how do you like it? How do you like the the teenagers uh, going back to the classic New York sound that you? Also promoted uh, songs like Trillmatic when ASAP Ness missed uh, meets uh, Method Man. It, it sound like music connecting genres. Yeah, I, I like that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I like it. You know what I mean? I like what Joy Badass doing. I like what ASAP Mob doing. I like that video, the Trillmatic. That's dope. That's a dope song video. It's dope what they doing, man. You know what I'm saying? They they uh, they got that certain style that's like that '90s feel to it. That's dope. Yeah, exactly what P said, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the whole Bronx. And, and Mob Deep is also known for uh, some classic hip-hop beefs. And uh, it's been well documented that you had clashed with, with DPG, with Jay-Z, with Pac. Uh, but I always wanted to ask you about uh, a group from the West Coast, South Central Cartel. Uh, their first album was released like a year prior to, to Juvenile Hell. Uh, how was the whole nickname thing came came about? Was it coincidence? Did you ever spoke with them? Well, they stole our name from the Unsigned Hype. We got it in the Source magazine, Unsigned Hype, and um, you know, long but maybe two years before Juvenile Hell came out, and you know, our names were Prodigy and Havoc. So that's where they got the name from. And like, if you think about it, it's impossible to put those two names together. That's impossible for that to be a coincidence. It's impossible, dog. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to them. You know what I mean? We had a little, we had a little words with them back in the days, and we squashed it or whatever, whatever. But you know, it is what it is. Uh, when I spoke with 50 Cent this year, he said that uh, signing you and MOP was one of the biggest things for a Junior movement ever. It's like he and his friends going back to something real major. And uh, what are your uh, your contacts with 50 look like nowadays? Are you still in touch? Yeah, yeah, man. That's the homie, man. We fuck with 50 and the whole unit. You know what I'm saying? Like we did a deal with uh, Fifth. For a couple albums and that was it you know what i'm saying we only ended up doing one album then i got locked up that's why the second one never came out but yeah it was cool you know what i'm saying we did a good deal with them it was a good business move for us you know what i'm saying I mean, we don't give a fuck about what haters and fans talk about you know what i'm saying you know we did a good business deal for us uh, word Okay. Uh, you you were uh, included in the whole East-West uh, beef in '90s, and uh, what do you think? How does it look today? Is it also some kind of competition between East and West, or or it doesn't look like uh, no? Nah, ain't no competition. Like ain't no more of that. You know what I'm saying? That that's that's old news. You know what I'm saying? That's old news. We all fuck with each other now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we all cool now. That's old news. And uh, when it comes to first, third coast, uh, what's the story behind your collab with Bun B and Juicy J on the new album? We did a song called Legendary, and we wanted to put some legendary dudes in the game on it. So, you know, UGK with Bun B, they legends in the game. They've been doing it for a minute. And same thing with Juicy J with, you know, saying Three Six Mafia. They legends. They've been doing it for a long time. Um, even though, you know, Juicy J's. It's popular right now. A lot of people don't know he's been doing it. So that's why we put him on the song for Legendary. To make people talk and fuck up and say, oh, he's not a le Oh, yeah, he is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh. Yeah. Okay, so well, last words for Polish fans five minutes before your show. Last words, if you ain't here, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you, man. We about to kill this shit. If you're not here, where you at? If you're not here, where you at? Okay, thanks.